I really want to take a look at this Carly Russell footage. I saw it. It's on my play. I want to claim copyright disclaimer for use for commentary, opinion, uh, research, news, things of that nature. But yeah, let me go ahead and bring this up so y'all can see it. But I was like, wow, I didn't know it was out there. Because I know there's a lot going on with it. Um, matter of fact, here's a story right here. It's Carlethia, but I guess they call her Carly Russell. Uh, she went missing for days last week uh, before returning home. And apparently this footage here that I'm going to show um, shows her car pulling off the I. 459, um, and apparently she was 20, well, she is 25, um, and she called 911 about a toddler walking along on the side of the interstate, okay? So that's just to build you up to it, but I'm a little interested to see this now. I really am, because I've been, you know, hearing, hearing talk of it. I feel like since I, I haven't really been following it, I can be way more objective. Um, and I also think that I just would rather formulate my own questions and my own logic, you know? Some people have more of a conspiracy theory type mental, so they're going to question every single thing. Uh, and sometimes you can make things up in your head that aren't actually there. Uh, this is not going to be that. I feel like I, I feel like I can be very very objective uh, because I haven't been following it. You know, there's a lot of things that people do. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure why they do it. I mean, I kind of know, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, nothing's really going to change, right? You can take a story and, and, and you can put a million and one twists on it, you know, because see, the thing about it is I don't like to listen to someone else's coverage of it. Uh, and I did that, but, you know, I can wipe the slate clean, you know, and then uh, because I don't want anyone else putting those questions in my head that weren't there. Those are your questions. I like to formulate my own, you know, and a lot of times people see things that aren't there. And um, instead of, you know, someone telling me what they saw, I like looking for myself. So that's what I'm doing. I'm looking for myself. I'm going to share it with, with the world. The world will get to see what I see. And I'm going to play the audio as well. If there is any, there may not be any. But here we go. Here's the footage right here. I'm going to put it on full screen. Courtesy of WBRC Fox 6 News on your side, okay? I don't know what these numbers mean. And let me make sure the volume is up. This is my first time seeing this. Apparently, this story is by Ken Curtis. Okay, and let's turn the volume up a little bit. So here we go. L looks like there's a three-lane highway there. There is no audio, I don't think. And why would there be? The quality is excellent, I think, especially right there where it's all lit up. Now, I don't know if uh, it looks like there's a car with this blinkers going. OK. A car with this blinkers going. Let me back that up. <laughs> Okay. 
So the car's blinkers were already blinking, right? They were already on. I mean, they're driving slow, or it looks like they've pulled over, I believe. Yes. I mean, how would anyone know if she's in the car alone, even? No one would know that. I mean, how could you possibly know? There's no way to know. There's no way to know who's in the car. I'm not looking for a baby or a child. I'm just looking at it for what it is. If there is a child, why would the lights be blinking that far? I mean, that soon. And you can see the light, everything is well lit. As the traffic moves. Everything is well lit. Now it's dark here, but the car is already there. It's really dark here. And the, the car is still moving. So if there was a child, I mean, that's a lot of space to go down. So I don't know anything about that. Now, right here, there's lighting from the very inception of the capture. Now, are people going through, like, trying to see if there's a child way back there somewhere? I don't know. I guess if you look hard enough, you'll probably see one, even if it's not there. If that's what you want to see. But I'm not looking for a child. So the car is pulled over. It looks like it has stopped, okay? Uh, coming up, you're going to see a series of traffic, and you'll see the light, and everything will be lit up very well. You'll be able to see. Now, I saw a little flash right there. Oh, I can go back. Okay. I saw a little flash there. Let's see. Take give it a second look. Yeah, I see what it is. It's nothing. It's it's turning that curve. It's a four minute and forty second clip. So anything could be going on inside that car. I mean, if you think about it, calls could be made, could be someone else in the car. That's the only thing I can think of. Sometimes you can fool around and let the wrong person in the car with you. Unknowingly. These things do happen. So I, there's really nothing to see from the looks of it. This is the car on the side of the road there now. So I guess, I mean, it could it could all mean whatever anybody wants it to mean. I mean, I could sit here and just paint a plot and make it a mystery. Um, I heard somebody say that, you know, the truth needs to be known. Well, I mean, what truth? 
to me, people want to know too much. And then when they don't know what they want to know, then they start making stuff up. That's how conspiracies get started. Actually, it's how the platform was built and was built on that. So basically, um, I mean, you could, I mean, you could put a million different twists on this. And you'll get a million different opinions, a million different stories. And I guess a million different people will listen to probably all a million of them. I'm assuming that's how it works, right? You know, just breaking everything down, all of the unknowns. I don't know. To me, it seemed like if you want to know too much about something, it makes me want, it makes me question your motives. You know, you want to be the first, you know, you want, you know, you want the truth, you know, you want it right away, you know, and then, and then if I don't get it, you know, well, I think this and I think that and I think this and I think that. I don't like listening to people like that, especially when they're covering something that's already biased. You know, you, you probably have already um, read the whole story. And I don't need anybody reading something for me because I know how to read and my comprehension levels are on fleet. So I, don't, I mean, I've never needed that. You don't have to read something to see something. I mean, I've been looking at, at at this so long. Now, here's something here. I've been looking at this for so long that you kind of like stop looking because there's nothing there to see. But I imagine some people spent the whole four minutes like really, really examining that, like with the a magnifying glass, you know? I mean, looking for something that ain't there. If you start looking hard enough, the shadows are going to make you see something that's not even there. I mean... So is this fantasy or reality? And the reality is, I mean, <laughs> it's like the people want to know and, you know, I mean, I mean, I can just see it. I can just see it. The best thing to do is just talk nice about it. But, um, you know, to me, it's just like, well, I want to sway as many people to start questioning this, you know, and spread the word so that more and more and more people are going to be questioning it from my perspective. And then guess what? You'll have to tune back in to see what I really think about it. Now, that's the way I see it. So, yeah, you know, uh, is it this or, you know, or or is it that or I mean, I, I mean. The only thing I saw different was a was a speck of blue light here at the end of it. And I'll go back to it. There has to be a way to fast forward. Fast forward to it. That's like, I think right. Oh, right there. Let me put this in full screen. I didn't know I could. Okay, right there. And it's obvious the blue light is right down there. It looks like in the same same vicinity that the car was um, pulled on the side of the road, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, I see now. You see? You see what happened, right? Let me show you. Okay, right there. Let me press pause. Right there. That's the vehicle. Some of the police vehicle of a summer. Okay. Are they driving like they're in a hurry? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. So that's, that's all you see. 
So you see for yourself right there. I mean, there is the vehicle in question, I'm assuming, because it's the only one on the side of the road. Matter of fact, it's already on the side of the road from the very beginning. I was thinking it was on the road. It's not. It's already on the side of the road. So it was on the side of the road prior to this footage even recording. See, it's already on the side of the road right there. So if you're on the side of the road right there, why are you driving so much so far? As you know, you were on the side of the road even before you got there. So now you're here. You're still driving um, cautiously, you know, with the with, with the hazard lights on. So, you know, people do that. Maybe they maybe I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm 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 just pointing out the obvious. And then once you get to your destination, which is here, it's like you stop right at that light. Maybe you want to, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it now. Okay, here's what happened. The reason they kept driving is because it's dark. I just lit up here. Let's check. So that makes sense. Well, no, it's not. It's not lit up there. It's lit. Well, here's an exit sign right here, but it's dark there. But maybe she maybe she pulled over. If that's her, allegedly, uh, right at that sign. Maybe so she could easily be found, maybe. Okay, right there. So that's what happened. She drove until she got to the sign, probably so that they would be easy to find, you know, the vehicle and with her in it. And then apparently that's what happened. Here comes the cop right here. See right there? Right there. It's going to turn blue. So that's all that really happened. Nothing else really happened. Okay? So, I mean, yeah, you can make up a million whatever, but, I mean, who's supposed to be hiding something? There's the footage right there. Well, no, you're back home, so you're supposed to you know, just stop everything and then tell me what I want to know so I have something to talk about. And then I, and then I want to know the truth, and then you owe me the truth, and then I, 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 I want to know this, I want to know that, I want to know this. I mean, really. That's the way I look at it. I feel like you got people out there on the ground. You have the news coverage, you know, trained out there on the ground doing that. So it's easy to sit someplace else and, you know, create a conspiracy. Anybody can do that. Oh, there's something there that could be for. Or, you know, something should have this or, you know, where is this or where is that? And then, you know, what happened to this? And then, you know, and then we all want to know you owe us the truth. It's like you're you're painting us conspiracy. That's not even there. Y'all aren't even out there on the ground doing the work. You want people to skip over them to go to you. Well, guess what? You need the people on the ground. And it really, it's none of your business. It'll come out whenever it comes out. 
well, no, we can't wait. You know, we got to, you know, make it seem like it's all this and it's all that. And then now it's all it's all a big manipulation. Just call it what it is. I mean, the cops on the scene. What more do you want? It's a black woman, right? A black female. The cop is on the scene. You're looking at it right there. It ain't like she drove for miles. Assuming prior to this, there was no miles driven that wasn't recorded. Do you need to know what exit she got off of? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm assuming I don't know. The police take care of all that stuff. Well, we don't trust the police. So we're just going to sit, you know, here and just, you know, paint a picture. Oh, this a problem, not a problem. And then they hide this and hide it. And then, and then we don't know the truth about this. And then the truth about that. And then all this, you know, really, yeah, I get it. I get it. People do what they do. They handle it how they handle it. You know, people cut the grass different ways, I guess. I I, I like a ride long. I, I, I just do. I already know it's good. But this You have to realize sometimes even even the reporters don't get the full story until it comes out. How are they going to know if the lady have a talk? Well, we feel like she needs to talk. Well, you know what? She'll talk to whoever it is that she's probably is required to talk to when she talked to them. Uh, it's not you. It's not you. It's not a blogger. It's not a vlogger. She don't owe you nothing. But oh yes, yeah, she does because I've been talking about it. Because it's viral. It's trending. It's on the news. A lot of stuff on the news. No, I want to take this and I want to I want to get blood out of this turnip. We'll do it. So twist it, you know, manipulate it, turn it around, you know, dissect it, break it in half, ball it up. I don't know how y'all doing it. But just do whatever it is that you do. At the end of the day, I'd rather go to the source. I've been there. Okay. And I think the story on this is very limited. Uh, it may be a paragraph or two at most. The real story. It's on the other. It's on the other thing. But I'll, I'll, I will go ahead and read this. It's from News Four. Um, archived traffic camera footage shows what authorities believe is Carly Russell's car, okay, traveling along the shoulder of a Birmingham Metro highway. Moments before she mysteriously disappeared. This was July 15th. Obtained by WBRC Fox 6. It shows Russell's red Mercedes. Okay, I didn't know it was a Mercedes. Okay, a red Mercedes Benz. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, traveling along Interstate 459's shoulder around 9.30 Thursday night with his flashers on. Okay. That is about the time the 25-year-old nursing student called 911 to report a child she believed to be three or four years old walking along the busy highway near the Galleria. The child did not, no, the child is not seen in the video taken in darkness, right? So I'm not sure if that's what y'all are doing. 
Okay? Are you are you trying to turn the night into day to find a child in the dark? Is someone going to put a child there that wasn't there? Imagine. Okay. Russell vanished moments after talking to dispatchers, then phoning a friend who told authorities she heard Russell scream before losing contact with her. Okay. But she's back now. You know, she'll be able to tell what happened, right? I guess as people sitting on pins and needles, they can't wait, right? What if she was still missing? You would have to wait, wouldn't you? And then the question is where she went. I mean, if she was at her parents' house, I would think that's a safe place, a safe space. They want to know if she was walking. Well, to me, as long as she got there. And now they're even questioning why she's even there. It's safe. Allegedly. You know? They hype it up. I don't know if they're saying she was barefooted. I don't know. Was her hair supposed to be disheveled? You know, was she, did she have grit up under her fingernails? I mean, expect the unexpected. You're bound to hear any and everything. But I go to the source, and there's not much information to read. Now, there's other. I could skim over it, but no one's really going to ever know until she decides to say she'll reveal what will be, need to be revealed to who it needs to be revealed to, it will be done when ever it gets done. So what are y'all going to do? Put pressure on her to talk, to answer your questions that you have? Y'all have to realize you're not even out there on the ground doing the work, but you want to reap all the benefits from others' hard work. And then on top of it, you can't even wait till the information come out. You got to create a whole nother narrative, a false narrative if need be, to get people to tune in to you. Just overlook the people out there that's actually doing the footwork, the leg work. And then you want to rig it up in such a way that you capitalize off of it. Okay, get money. You can't wait to get the money? That's my question. You can't wait to get it? You have to fabricate something to get it. You have to create a conspiracy to get it. You have to lie to get it. Do you have to create all of these unknowns with the intention of getting it? I guess anything goes as long as you get it, right? As fast as possible. Matter of fact, y'all want to miss a day from getting it. You know, was it this and, you know, and was it that and, you know, and then this and that and, and then all of this, and then all of that, and then none of it. Uh, and so, you know, why is a, why aren't we being told we need the truth, the people who? You want to know more than the people that's out there doing it. They on the ground covering it. Authorities are investigating it. You can't even wait. No, I got to be the first out here to stake my claim in, you know, all these question marks now that I've created. Well, for manipulation. I'm guessing it's going on rapid. 
You have to let them do it. Before long, you go, you'll find yourself believing it. That's when you're at the point of no return. Okay, so while their conversation abruptly ended okay, with the friend, the phone connection remained open. Okay. The reward in this case has reached $60,000, Russell's family told. WBRC, okay? And that's pretty much it. You know, you can get the latest news and weather straight straight to your email, right? From a meteorologist, right? A real meteor, meteorologist is going to give you that. Someone who knows what they're doing. They're, they're going to give you that weather from a meteorologist. Not somebody holding, I don't know, a wishbone in whichever way it points, if it's gonna rain or not. I don't know how I don't know how they I don't know how they're doing it on here. So I guess, you know, staff like News 4 aren't doing their job. I guess that's easy to sit around for, with somebody that really don't not even have the you don't have the credentials to even do that. And then you sit around spinning a conspiracy, manipulating for clout. Let's just call it what it is. And then you do it and they do it. So then it becomes a big, you know, conspiracy at that point. That's the whole implosion of it. Or no, explosion. But it all it all implodes on itself. Because when it does come out, then you're gonna start questioning that. Because you thought it should have been this. So now it's even more to talk about and even more conspiracies. These people have been doing this for years. They're pros at it. I go to the source and look for myself. There's nothing to spend. I read the story. It's a short story. All stories aren't long stories. A lot of people get on here, they want to make as much money in as less time as possible. Ten minutes or less sometimes. And they ain't taking shots at nobody. I'm just saying. Why be bothered with it that long? All I want to do is just spread doubt. I want to cast a shadow of doubt over every aspect of it and tune in to hear what I have to say about it. And I get to say, I told you so about whatever it is that I was right about. So you got to tune in either way back to me. Just wait on the story. That's all I'm saying. Just wait on it. You can't wait. No, you got to cast doubt. I want to use this to cast doubt. And, and believe me, y'all, that's what they're doing. Then they have you questioning even what you see with your own eyes, even what you hear with your own ears. You know why? Because they're echoing in your psyche. That's why I like to sit around and listen to certain people talk about anything if I'm even considering, and I wasn't even considering talking about it, but I didn't know that this footage was out there. But after I finished listening to someone else, I didn't, I realized I, I didn't want to listen to it because you start already adapting that way of thinking about it. But I can wipe it off. Those are someone else's thoughts. They're not mine. I just told you mine. Now that's the truth. I don't have to sit and wait on the truth. I don't have to question it. I just served it up. Pure, unadulterated truth. I'm not in a frenzy waiting on it. I'm not out here telling everybody we is being kept from us. You know what you 
know when you need to know it. Some things everybody don't need to know no way. People want to know a lot of things. There is none of their business. You don't have to know every detail of something. And if you don't know it, you fill it in with untruths, <clears throat> manipulations, false narratives, lies even, manipulating imagery and audio, cutting and splicing, chopping and screwing, all in the name of, well, I don't know, maybe I can do this in about 10 minutes. Imagine what I'm going to get next time I do it. So, yeah, they're going to set it up. So, yeah, you got to tune back in. I know I want you to know what I think about it. Because what I think is more important than even the truth itself. Because I don't even know the truth. And I'm going to come out here and let you know how urgent it is that I need to know it. You know, just wait on it. That's all I'm saying. Quit just making up stuff about something that you don't know. And why you got to feed into it? I know why. The platform is set up like that. It was built off of lies and conspiracy. I guess when all else fails, go right back to how the platform was built. I thought the advertisers had frowned on that. I guess there's others that don't care, do they? don't matter. All that matters is I need the truth. I got to get clicks and views. If I can't get it, I'm going to make it up. What you see ain't what you see. I'm going to tell you, you see something else right there. Y'all might not even be able to see this because I don't see that record thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I thought it was showing. You don't even see what you see there. I hope I didn't do this and y'all couldn't even see nothing. Either way, you get the audio though, right? I'll upload it to my podcast. You don't need visual because I gave you visual. What I did. Let's see. There may not even be any picture on this. Oh, no, there isn't. So y'all didn't see anything that I was just showing you. But it doesn't matter. You know why it don't matter? Because I showed you. You didn't have to see it. You didn't have to see it. I just showed you. Now I can show you again. Now that I realize that really everything I just said, nobody can see. So, I guess there's another step in here I didn't do or something. Here it is. Ah. Mm. Okay, where is it? Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you now. I should have pressed mute, but you can't hear nothing anyway. I'm going to put it on full screen, play it from the beginning to the end. So I gave my, narr my, my narration of it before you saw it, okay? I didn't know that you couldn't see it, but as it turns out, you know you could not see it. Well, you're going to see it now. I can't even get to the beginning of this, even though I try. Okay, here we go. It's in full screen. Everything should match up. Let me go back again because it seemed like it froze right there. This is the footage. If you notice, what you see matches up with my narration. It's no manipulation. I'm not trying to spin a web of deception into your brain 
to make you question every aspect of something that really you ain't so special that you get to know before anybody else gets to know. Wait on it and just stop lying and making up stuff and creating questions that aren't even there, only in your head. And usually there's an agenda for that. Something to gain from it. I mean, I respect the game. Everybody, you know, sometimes everything not a game. You don't get to know every aspect of somebody's life. Wait till it come out and you're not that special that everything got to come to a screeching halt because you need clicks and views. And if you can't get them soon enough, you're going to start spreading questions and and um, doubt and conspiracies. And in some cases, outright lies. But no, I'm above lies. So I just want to, you know, well, you know, think about this and think about that and think about this and think about that. And then the truth is being hidden. It's being kept. It's not. There's something to gain from you saying it. People don't like when I say certain stuff. It's not a lie. Well, maybe you weren't supposed to see it that way. How about I saw it for what it was? Just like you can see this for what it is. It match up with what I said. <clears throat> I guarantee you, it ain't going to be like that with everybody. You're not even going to be looking at the original. You're going to be looking at something that has been manipulated. In some cases, a lot of the viewers knew it and know it. And it's part of it. They're not going to tell you that. And they don't want anybody like me to tell you. Well, I'll tell you. Wait on it. You can't wait till the mailman come when you check your mail. Is it like that every day? I can see if it's one day, right? When you're expecting something really important. Every day can't be that important. If you like that every day, believe me, a lot of them like that. The platform make them like that. I try not to blame them. But don't get mad at me because I see it. Wait. A lot of these people are not Walter Conkrite. No, Cronkite. I can't, I, I'll never get that right. Barbara Walters is not on you. I mean, I don't think she's here. You know? But you see it right there. What do you see that don't match up with what I said? Even though you didn't see it, you should have seen it because I painted it for you. You saw it. I went through every detail. I didn't make up none that wasn't there. I even went back and picked up on something that I didn't really notice. I didn't read, I didn't add none to it, I didn't take none from it. You can't do that up on here. No, I got to be the first person to come out here and say, you know what? It's a mystery. It's a conspiracy. It's a cover-up. They're hiding the truth from you. Come here to get the truth when it comes out because I'm going to find it because it should be here by now and it's not here. So I'm going to question everything about it and tell everybody about it so they can do the same thing. I'm just going to show you. See it for yourself. Real time. There it is right now. In case you didn't get it the first time. Uh, 
I and I apologize that I wasn't able to show this before. I thought it was showing. I thought it was showing. Is this my phone? What does this say? Oh. Sorry about that, y'all. I don't like this phone. I know it's off topic. Let me go back a minute. I apologize for that. Because it wasn't nobody business to know that my phone rang. Because then they'll be wondering, want to know who called, what did they want, you know? Are they going to call back, get their tips before, you know what they got to tell me, or is it something I got to tell them, or is it something that somebody told me that I got to tell them, or something that somebody told them that they got to tell me. See how that works? You can go on and on and on and on and on and on with all of that. Ain't an answer up in none of it assumptions before you know anything you have for believing something that didn't even happen and then the truth is being hidden there's a deception at play there's people that sit around listening for moments like that every day they don't fleet like that it's a way to get money A lot of times they look at you like you beneath them because you aren't able to, you know, savvy enough to do that. A lot of times I just say, well, wow, you know, you couldn't even really wait to even really, you know, but no. I'm not anxious to check my mail about, you know, like just waiting on pins and needles for my mail every day. There's nothing going on that urgent every day. I check it, I check it, I don't, I don't. I check it tomorrow. Am I going to go out there in the dark and check it? Probably not. It ain't that important. Am I sitting waiting, wondering, you know? No. Am I doing that every day? Ain't no way. I can't think of nothing like that. That's why I wonder, you know, why? I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't read what's in the newspaper until it's printed in the newspaper. It has to go through the press. That's the way it used to be. Well, come on TV. Well, no, we can't wait. We got to fill in all these blanks and we don't know anything. Well, I'm showing you what they're going off of. Okay. Matthew 5, 13. Imagine what people can't do with that, what you see right there. And the spinoffs. Oh, this is the conspiracy of the conspiracy, of the original conspiracy that was based off the lie and the unknown. And then somebody else going to have something to say about it. Well, no, it wasn't that. It was this. Well, and then somebody else will know this is what it really was. Well, you know what it really is? It's what you see right there. You're looking right at it. Before you saw it, you, I showed it to you. If your brain worked, if you got imagination, you saw it. It match up. And the truck moved over, I noticed. Okay, there you have it. Judge for yourself over here. I ain't trying to brainwash nobody. I have nothing to gain. If 
I was here for game, I guess I would spit all kind of game. I'm going to leave it there.